Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. We are in of meta lecture discussing for the Android application development. This lecture would be entirely focusing on the broadcast receiver. So uh, before I, I inform or tell you about broadcast receiver, I would like to ask what is the broadcast. If we go by the traditional definition, if like see I am speaking and many of you are listening over here, right, as you would be doing, that is the broadcast. Now, what happens in a similar way we are having broadcast receivers in Android. You do remember the last time when your phone battery was low, then some applications were automatically turned off. You were not able to adjust the screen brightness. Also, you were not able to turn on the, your Gmail sync was automatically off. Why? To save the battery. How it all happens? Android has some by default broadcast receivers that are created. Like for example, if I say that a phone has restarted, then the battery low, then incoming call, uh, receive SMS. So all these are broadcast receiver. You have encountered a lot of broadcast receivers in your own application. Uh, if I tell you an, another, another example, if you have a, if you have installed an anti theft system on your phone, how and how does the anti theft system work? It simply works on the concept of broadcast receiver that whenever the phone has restarted, it fetch, it tries and fetches the SIM number of the SIM that is there in the phone. If that same number is the same that was there in the phone previously, then the then you the phone is with you. If it happens to be the SIM number has changed, then a, a broadcast based on the broadcast receiver of phone restarted or rebooted, we fetch the SIM number and we start and continue to check that you know is it changed and on change you will perform a particular action. So how does the broadcast receiver work? We define the broadcast receiver in our manifest file that is under manifest.xml and we take an action that what has to be done if in if in case this broadcast occurs. Another example if you have if we would have used that uh, your book my shows app or an app that tries to fetch the OTP automatically. So on SMS received it actually fetch on SMS received it, it fires up a broadcast receiver and that receiver tries to fetch the SMS. And if that SMS is the OTP, it shows it on your, uh, it, it automatically shows it in the application and you don't need to manually enter it. So all these things basically work on the broadcast receiver. So now, so now let's see what a broadcast receiver actually is. So broadcast receiver simply respond to the broadcast messages from other applications or the system itself. These messages are sometimes called events or intents. For application initiate broadcast to let other applications know some data has been downloaded. Like if you download something, it tells that yes, I have done, done with downloading that data. And is also available for them to use. So the broadcast receiver will, inter will intercept the communication and will initiate the proper action. There are two steps to make the broadcast receiver work. First is you create a broadcast receiver and the second is you register the broadcast receiver. How you do how do you do that? Let's see. So how does the broadcast receiver start? You make up a active, you make up a Java file. I I have made a Java file named as the my receiver. This Java file should extend the broadcast receiver's class, which is provided by the Android. On doing this, it would automatically ask us to override the existing functionality, that is, the on receive. Now, what happens is, whenever this receiver gets activated. The on receiver method is executed and here we are just showing a toast but you can also actually say like some applications fetch your SMS and ch check for the OTP. Uh, you can detect a phone call even if you have uh, like if you want to build up incoming uh, you know co uh, incoming call blocker how you do that. You check here that on receive of a call you come here the your flow comes to the on receive method here you automatically disconnect the call. Now, how does the flow comes here? That change is done in the manifest file. In the manifest file, we are having a receiver tag as we discussed already. We name this receiver, whatever the name has been given over here. So it's my receiver. Now, when will this broadcast be fired? It's defined in the intent filter class. We have action which defines that on Android intent action boot completed. The phone has been completely booted simply fire up the on my receiver class the my receiver and here it would be firing up the on receive method so if we go by this definition we simply get a toast intent detected whenever the phone has completely booted up so how it works it's an android system and it's a broadcast receiver 
so the it registers basically for the system to observe something and if it has the incident has occurred the system notifies the broadcast receiver that yes this thing has occurred up it helps you to detect a particular uh, system or the particular state and perform an action based on that state if you are building a call blocker simply you uh, you have a you are having a predefined list of uh, intents or over intent filters over here you pass that here the i think the intent is incoming call uh, and if it's uh, and if it's true you come in the on receive you check with the call coming from which number you are having a database if the number in the database and this number matches you cancel the call and the user is users is able to have a, a call automatic call blocker uh, applicable or on in his phone so that's how the broadcast receiver work we can even create our own broadcast receiver intents so let's quickly go to our android studio and see the working of a broadcast receiver how do we make a broadcast uh, receiver and how do we activate it what happens when the receiver is activated and how does the flow comes to the on receive method thank you hello guys uh, welcome back again uh, i hope you have enjoyed having the broadcast receiver session now now it's time let us have a practical demo wherein we would be seeing how a broadcast receiver actually works right so for that i request you to kindly open up your android studios in your android studio open up your activity underscore main dot xml like i've done this one right i have made this xml i won't be explaining you about this since it's very basic i expect you to have been done till here now now what i have to do is on the click of this button I would be setting up a broadcast. I would be calling this. I would be calling a broadcast, and would be making a new broadcast receiver. So first, let me make a broadcast receiver. How do I do that? For this, I go to my package and I write the new Java class. I read. I named my Java class as my receiver. This class will be extended from the broadcast receiver. i click on okay so here's what i've got now it is asking that this class should extend the functionalities of the broadcast so we are having a method that is on receive right this method is the one which would be having the entire functionality of the receiver so whenever a broadcast is happening like in, in this case whenever a broadcast is happening we would be able to fetch this one so how do i do here i am simply writing a toast it would be saying that intent for broadcast now what i have to do is in my main activity dot java i would be requiring to fire this intent right how to do that for that i'm i have to first make the object of the button now to set the on click listener on this button here i make up a new intent name it as intent in this intent i set a action and the so now i have to also declare this receiver in my manifest file for that i come over here and i make a new receiver and i need to pass the filter on which this receiver should be active for this i have to pass a action and the name of the action is android dot example dot broadcast receiver dot custom intent i have to use this action in my main activity now if i run my application i would be able to see the broadcast getting fired up now let's see
So I click this one and it says Indian from podcast fired. This was what we had done in, in our here that we had shown a toast. So like we found some action. You can do it even without creating your own and you can extend to use the existing Indian from the Android uh, from the Android available. So guys, that was all about the broadcast with you from our side. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned as we will taking you to through other sections, right? Thank you.